My name is Patrick Capiello, International Sommelier of the Year and winner of Wine Spectator's Grand Award. And today, I'm gonna to grade Supermarket Cabernets. Okay, it smells like feral. I, it's, that's, um, yeah, like a little bit like urine. <laughs> it's bitter and like unbalanced acidity, so it's like super sharp and it doesn't have a lot of tannins, but there's like almost like a little bit of like raisiny kind of sweetness to it. Like it's so sour, like I can, I imagine my face doesn't look very good while I'm drinking this. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. That's gonna get a, a, a D plus and I'm being nice with the plus. Oh, Trader Joe's, you fooled me once, but not the second time, sucka. Uh -uh. I think two bucks is too expensive for this wine. Maybe I'm not gonna shop at Trader Joe's after all. All right, for my next wine, this smells like wine, so that's a great sign. It's like juicy and like supple and dry. It's not, it's not super sweet, which is nice. Just kind of right down the middle, but still has some pretty good flavors. Taste it for a while after, which is pretty good. I think I would give that an A minus. It's pretty good. Wow, all right, Lindemans. This one won 600 plus medals and an A minus from me. <laughs> Australia, that's it. Maybe that's the secret. We should only buy cheap Cabernet from Australia. All right, wine number three. This wine smells smoky and sweet. I mean, it's like really fruity, but like fruity, like I know I'm gonna drink it and it's gonna taste like a lot of sugar. My hunch was correct. It's very sweet. Oh, I'm gonna give that a, uh, a D plus. Actually, no, a D. There's nothing plus about that. Oh, my old friend Columbia Crest. Killing it in Washington State. It's a new label though, huh? That's kind of sharp. Maybe they should put a little more thought into the wine going inside the bottle as they have in the label on the outside. Wine number four, that smells like a big pile of dried leaves. Always the first thing you're looking for in a glass of Cabernet, right? Oh, well, you got it right here. This might be the worst one yet. I haven't even tasted it. I don't really want to taste it. That's horrid. That's an F. I don't even need to taste it again to know that. In fact, I might be looking for a letter lower than F if I did. Oh, shit, Behringer. Wow, this is like one of the most famous estates in California for a minute. Well, another new label too. It's amazing that these estates are more concerned about spending money on the outside of the bottle than they are what's inside of it. Like you should just leave the old label and put better wine in it. Okay, I hope this is the last one. I don't think I can take much more of this. It smells a little bit like vanilla. I mean, it's dry, but has some tannins to it. So I think it's balanced, which I think is key. It smells a little bit like dried leaves almost, which is not the most ex exciting thing. But all in all, it smells pretty good. I would give it a, it's like a B minus. Oh yeah, J. Lore, Seven Oaks, Paso Robles Cabernet. Yeah, good job, Mr. Lore. So I think we learned that there can be some good values on the grocery store shelf for Cabernet Sauvignon, and then there can be some bad ones. In the end, I think the only way to know for sure is to taste the wines yourself and make that judgment call. For the most part, I'm gonna try and find wines that are a great value that also have a lot of flavor. I'm Patrick Capiello from Playboy.com. So uh, this side over so here. So that gets the heat on this side. Without having to flip it, you're able to exactly. cook the other side of it. You see that butter beginning to brown a little bit. You can smell. Yeah, it smells you awesome, smell that dude. ocean and that butter.